Welcome back to Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa. When we left off, uh, Kanji and Mondo and Kirotaka, Kanji's the Persona character, were uh, hanging out in the sauna. Toko was having some weird domination fetish with Byakuya, and Monokuma called us to the gym. So, we're going to the gym, dude. And this can't be good. Hey there. Oh, Kyoko. Oh, Kyoko. Did you hear the announcement Indeed. just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news. It's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Hey, there's Mondo. Yo. Hey, man. You about to head in? Yeah. Has everyone already gone on ahead? Ugh, shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's good's gonna come from ignoring that damn bear. Um, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that song. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know, <laughs> there at the edge of hell, the promise between men was waiting for me. Never so good. I don't wanna Yo. Know, I don't want to know about your promise between men. Let's go to the gym, dude. <laughs> Man, something unique must have happened. Which is Nayagi, don't scare me like that! Sorry, but we should really go inside. <laughs> no! Don't go! You can't go! The finger, dude. Mm -hmm. The finger. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. <laughs> Damn! That's true, too! Wow, a character is not conscious and swears. Surprising. I mean, damn. Asking us to gather, gather, freaking hell. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well. That was more of Mondo's voice than his, but whatever. Indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. God dang it, be um... How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? You know, why did Biakuya get more evil as we went on? Like how the half, how... Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. What the heck? That's something, there's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm. Huh? What, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that. Still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well. That, that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Mm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? Don't stand, don't stand so, 
don't stand so close to me. Not that police. Oh, this might not be related, but <laughs> don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. That was a weird bit of voice. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard... Huh? I heard what? Hmm. A sound that... I don't really know what it was. <sighs> well, what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe Could it... Could it be... It like... A construction sound. For serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you d definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in the head of it. Who's talking right now? Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Who is that? Is that Monokuma? What's happening? Cutscene. 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 There's Monokuma. Okay, he jumped out from behind the pedestal. I'm pretty sure that was him. Great cutscene. I just love this song. He's a ride. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion! <laughs> oh? yeah. Or maybe a machine gun! Pew 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 pew! <laughs> that could kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped, my lips are sealed, I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you work all this? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? Alright, but before that, you mind if I bent a little? Mm. I'm low on energy these days. My stitching is even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. Mm. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something ripe with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the I'm feeling The black and hasn't wet. shown up yet. And I'm getting bored! Hey, so, um... I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try to drive us all Damn it! Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not gonna kill each other anymore. Got it! No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. <laughs> That's very big talk. Do your very, do your very best to back it up, okay? I just added my own bear fun. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, I don't know why I did that, but I feel like, I feel like he's not making enough bear fun. Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this, so, so, this time it's embarrassing memories and... As long as you're alive, it's a given that those things you don't want other people to know about. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. Uh -oh. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at my feet. I quickly snatched the envelope from my hand. I nervously pulled out what was inside. My entire body, body suddenly went rigid. Really? I have a secret? Oh. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. Oh no. I'm definitely gonna kill somebody just to keep them from knowing that. Oh! How? How do you find 
find out about this! Oh my god. <laughs> you have 24 hours! If someone doesn't become a Bracken by then! Extreme! Oh. All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world! Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with the house because I'd spill the beans. Yeah! Yeah! Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivating? <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff. Right. It's definitely something I'd rather not know. Kill over something like that. I mean, maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm sure there's. What? What? What you say? Count on it. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assume you'd all be the same. I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. <laughs> Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fair enough. <laughs> With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym. So, deck. um. I didn't know what to expect at first, but. Maybe we dodged a bullet at this Um. I mean, yeah. Having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally fair. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt! If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish! That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen! Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I, I don't want to hear your stupid story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't really care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine! As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, it's come okay. on. Just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. What? Hey. Are you alright? I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of blood. Say what? <laughs> I agree with that. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro is the one that suggested that I gotta say no. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. You're right. A secret so bad you can kill someone to keep it? Nobody's had something like that, right? <clears throat> okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me?! Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die. <clears throat> So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Hmm, ahem. <clears throat> this is as such. Soon the door... Okay, then. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's all call it of a day. course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with anxiety. I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were. And left things as they lay. One by one, headed back to the 24 hours, boys! Somebody's gonna die. Somebody's got a secret they wanna keep. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect with the outside world. Honestly, 
all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know was that even then, a tragedy was taking place. I like how there's a new object every time in this. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. Oh, is it Monokuma or Republic? The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action. It's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation. Resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Morning. Good. D. Good. D. Morning. Good morning! What are you doing in my room? <laughs> nice reaction! I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What, what, what are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun! Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. you what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean... Even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. What? Say what? 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 Your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death. My goodness. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No. Can't be. There's no way someone would. What if... Okay, let's just, let's just go find out who died, dude. Do, do, do. Ah, Makoto. Uh, um, Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you, too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Ayakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way in my mind. What is the worst um. So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man from co-op game? God dang it. Kafumi's supposed to be the one who makes cringy video game references. Not you. What good does it do me to what is it good what good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst Stop saying that already. Uh, um There's something wrong with it. For serious. You get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. The game. Start investigating, dude. Let's see if anybody's in the kitchen. How about Daddy Born? He revealed our cigarettes. It could have been someone to do murder. 
Put up on a pole, there is no one in this room. Put it on a bit of a no. Put it on a bit of a no. Put up on a bit of a no. Put up on a bit of a no. Put up on a new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... Is that it? Is that all you can say? You kind of just stop and so, uh... Okay, yeah, uh, that's, I guess that is. I guess she just didn't want to say the M word, dude. Let's go see. I bet Sakura's trying to find, see if anybody, like, dumped evidence or something. In the evidence of murder, I love a man and my mom almost do. Put a puppy board, hello, Sakura. There doesn't appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? <laughs> oh, no. It's just that when you said the other, what you said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Huh? Perhaps. If something has happened, the killer might try to use this to destroy evidence again. I suppose that was floating around my subconscious, and it led me here. Let's go check the other area. Hey, Makoto. Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious? About by Akuya. You think he's being brainwashed or what? No, I don't think he's being brainwashed. I think it's just... Huh. <sighs> Excuse me. I think he's just an asshole, dude. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto, I think you've completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay. Okay. Listen, fortune telling is like, well? it's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudo-scientific bullcrap. Uh. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling is, isn't pseudoscience? I don't want to get yelled at. That's, that's what he said right now. Alright, well, if nobody's down here or in the dorms, then they must be upstairs. Investigating. Or not. Where the hell is everybody, dude? I mean, Biakuya is here in the library, but that's weird. Just this class. 
seems like a prime location for murder. Reality isn't everything. Well, I guess we just need to wander around until we find a body or something. I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation. So this is an investigation segment. It's all Just as I thought. I see. Judging from what he said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on. <laughs> and the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> Seems nobody's searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Who's dead? Who's dead? Whoa, what? Oh my g- No, not the cute little shy girl. That sucks, dude. I mean, I'm glad it's not my girl Hina, but uh, she was probably my second favorite girl. What? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did, ah! that yell sound effect was not good. Wah! A wild, almost screaming evil scream. That's not how I would describe the voice of that. I described it as more of a slight yell of shock. Why does it called Boy's Life of Despair? There's guys spread the dream and but a deal that serves on me like a water stream. The idea is completely unexpected. Very strange. Most unusual, but you think it's totally calm. Almost like you're watching all this unfold in front of I see. Look, Shakira's corpse has been suspended. Something's been written on the wall. Blood. Blood. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No. This is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur. Unlike with Siaka, this murder was not a kind of passion or dissent. Hmm. It's Interesting. almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too, confused to understand what he was trying to say. Before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something. <laughs> now that is a wild, primeval scream. Nice job, voice actor. Chahiro! So I see you a found body the body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. I just noticed that he holds a glass of wine in the, on the like TV shot. I've I literally never noticed that before. What the hell was that? What? Ah, uh, that's right. You were unconscious during the yachting, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovered. Apparently. Three or more people discover a body and announce it to so let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can be speed to see fairly for everyone involved. Fairly. The body discovery announced that Chihiro really is dead. Yes. Before you start screaming 
your head off. Go round everyone up. Another life or death game. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all had passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. They all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn! Damn, Daniel! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn! Couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim! Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream! This is a dream! It's all just a dream! I haven't even been born yet! I don't have any memory of ever being alive! Shut up! Dang, I like you. Why, why do they kill all the nice, nice female characters? I swear if my girl Pina dies, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be furious. For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? <laughs> I said it once already. There's a word right there. The wall. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying. But you know that thing about writing blood laws to blood? Doesn't it sound kind of familiar? <laughs> a murderous fiend goes again and again using a bizarre and evil method. And at the scene of each crime, the word blood laws is written in the picture of blood. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly and then slipping away until the police can catch up with them. And what nickname does the internet give them as a serious serial killer? What? What? Genocide Jack! Famous all across the country. Ultimate murder of speed. Uh oh. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's hell. Or maybe one of the students is Genocide Jack. Mona and Mona Kuma knew this and brought him in. But if that's the case, then why did they wait so long to start killing? Hmm. This, this brings up a lot of questions. Perhaps it's the real, the work of the real genocide. What? The real? What do you say Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's just, there's no way. Mm. But going so far as to write you know, this is, I'm surprised he's there. Well. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> what is it now? Toka. Ah! Toka was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing. No! Why? Why? W H Y? Question mark. Why? Go dunk. Go dunk, dude. <laughs> she fainted. That did not sound good. Oh. To Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her away. Oh. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh, oh mm. that's right. I just remembered what she said about how she faints any time she needs blood. Oh. So she is here with Toko. I imagine she just wrote blood to me. Uh, um. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides the room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, she so said she didn't faint on purpose, so it didn't count. Got Just you. a second! Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she heard her, Toko suddenly shot her. As in, she literally jumped up before she was It was such a strange reaction, it was at a total loss of words. She leapt straight up in the air, changing her face to this. What the frick is happening? Why is her tongue just, like, dangling out? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. It was just stuck, you know? It happened, right? Well, I'm the only one. Sticking her tongue out, dude. I gotta, I gotta, gotta do my voice. Toka. 
Oh wait, not yet. Togo, are you okay? I'm fine! I'm fine! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Dead right! Hey, are you dead? <laughs> yeah! What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a and back. It's and a lot. Oh, what? Wow. This is quite concerning. I mean, they sound completely different. No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least some of it all gone. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vague. Mm. And your eyes are like creepy red circles. What? Might be best if we take it back to our room for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking your butt. Can someone help? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Uh, Taka, could you help me? Huh? She totally ignored me! Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume you'll be the problem we can sack her on Mondo and Bellamy again? H hold on a second. Rushing through an investigation... Hmm. The mastermind is in behind them. After what happened the last time, surely you will. Don't make me repeat there myself. There's no question that Shahiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right? Of course! Right as rain! But don't take that as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life! Because... That's how graduation works! Dun, dun. Then it's happened again, you, that was young, another one of us is a murderer, a murderer, mm -hmm. killer. What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? <laughs> is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. What is that yeah There it is. Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry! Stop talking. Stop mono. Stop talking. I love that voice clip. That voice clip will never do it. Stop talking. Give us what you right? <laughs> Are you like in cahoots with him at this point? <laughs> I sure did. Right? It's Allow the Monokuma file! I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later! Please do your very tippy no top way. of this investigation. Do we really got to do another investigation? Looks like it. Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. <gasps> I hate it too! Help me! I, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here! Hey! Why don't you plan on going? There's no one to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple lot. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about this, are you? Naturally. How can I not be? We don't unmask the whole We all die. That, that's true, but jump into it. Sister. What? What? You want to die? Such ignorance. But go up and die somewhere. Right now? Go ahead. You're away from space. D damn Dead you! What is it? Object! Piece of shit! Here wasn't an object! So a little respect or I'll beat some into you! Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what we agree to say. Kiyoko? Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are good. And if Kiyoko is right, the genocide jacks is somehow the one who killed the sheep. That's right. And unless we do something, more victims can start piling up. What? Forget more victims! We messed this all up, wall dead man! Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. And anyone killing it, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. <laughs> what? I don't remember any rule like that. Haven't you figured it out by now? Motokuma just makes up the rules. Actually... I just came up with it, see? Right there. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would all be over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations. So then. In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey! Well, um... in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. 
Punishment is waiting for me. you. Murder. That possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more piece of life is to be able. Interesting. Not good. We need to uncover the full form of something like that. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! So, um... Well, for now, pop in here and drop a toe on you. I'm going to get locked up! There is nothing to be done. We have no time to say that. We must begin our investigation too. Is that okay? Then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Alright. The victim was Jahiro Fujisaki. To be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blonde object. She was killed in standing. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what. I gotta do what I gotta do, investigate the frickin' room. Let's say, <laughs> boom, boom. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Sure, I, I mean, I was gonna end the episode, but sure. Did you need something for Naturally. Me? Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so, what did you need? <laughs> I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you Solved Sayaka's case. Is it solved? No, I just. I mean, really, Kyoko solved it. She basically, like, handed all the clues to me. Like, I mean, she literally walked me through that first try. If anybody, if you want Stop anybody talking. to help, you should choose Kyoko. Also, I don't really want to spend time with you, so. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. Let's go. So, you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way. Now then, shall we get started? But, but, we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Biakuya. Oh, great, fun. I love how Mondo's spray work is kind of awkwardly behind the magic bag. Never saw me Next episode, we'll investigate.